Hey, what's up everybody? This is Ro from Neon. Today I'm very excited to tell you about our partnership with Hasura to provide developers with instant Postgres and GraphQL API. In today's video, I'll show you how to create a Postgres database from the Hasura console and also get started with GraphQL. So let's get started. As you can see, this is the Neon console. For now, I don't have any projects. So what I'm going to do is to connect to uh, my Hasura account. I'm going to hasura.io. I'm going to log into my account. And as you can see, I've already created a project and I'm going to launch the console. Hasura's engine provides with instant GraphQL API that runs on top of Postgres. GraphQL uh, is a query language. So that's what the QL is for. Uh, so it's a query language for your API that works particularly well with the relational queries. And we'll see an example of that. To get started with Hasura, you need to create a database and that's where Neon comes into play. You can connect to your database and if I go to this create new database tab, you can see that you can connect to a Neon database. So with the, this button, I'm going to connect uh, to Neon and I can do it with my Hasura credentials right here. And then Neon asked me if I want to allow Hasura to create a project on my behalf. I'm going to say yes. That's it. This is how easy it is to create a database using uh, Neon and Hasura. So I'm going to give this uh, a few seconds. There you go. And I'm going to use one of Hasura's templates. So I have a welcome to Hasura here. I will install th this template that will create two tables, customer and order. So you can see the queries right here. I'm going to go ahead and do that. So now let me take you back to the Neon console and let me refresh this page. And you can see that I've created uh, a project right here. Um, let me go to the dashboard and you can see that I already have a connection stream. I also have the operations. We'll get back to this uh, in a second. And I want to show you the SQL editor uh, where I can um, uh, right select from, from customer. I'm gonna run this, then I, I can see I have, I have data here. If you're like me and don't like to open your console every time you want to query your database, you can do that using the terminal. So I'm going to open the terminal right here. Let me um, actually put it to the right side like this and make it bigger. Let me clear the terminal, make it a little bit bigger. And you can do that using a, a, a simple psql uh, command. psql-h pg neon tech. And you don't have to worry about memorizing this because you have it actually in the, the console. That's the first thing that you can see at the bottom of the page when you connect to a, a console. That defies what I just said because the purpose is that I don't want to connect and log into my console. But um, once you do that, this provides you with the link uh, that I can copy and paste right here. Ask me to get access to uh, one of my databases and I can um, accept and connect to it right here and I can do the same query, select everything from customer and I'll add the same data that I've done before. This is pretty cool. So let me take you back to the console and go to the operations, the operations widget and the operations page. So here you can see that uh, a timeline was created and that took less than a second. And also the compute started and took about two seconds. So I provisioned the database in less than three seconds. What does that mean? Neon is serverless Postgres and separates storage and compute. That separation of storage and compute allows it to spin up a database in a few seconds. I'm not going to cover Neon's architecture during this video, but if you'd like to know more, I highly encourage you to go to uh, Neon Tech slash blog. And there's a great article by one of our co-founders, Heiki, about architecture decision in Neon that will give you more details about it. Actually, let me know in the comment below if you'd like to have a video about Neon's architecture and I'll be very happy to do it. So let me close this terminal. Okay. And if I go to the API, I can see that if I want a list of customers, email, first name, and last name, and go ahead and query um, the database so it returns um, a list of customers right here. Um, what is cool about GraphQL is that a, I can select the properties that I want um, and I can um, remove the properties that I don't need uh, for my application to uh, handle as uh, less data as possible uh, 
for it to be uh, processing the data more efficiently and execute whatever queries more efficiently so I don't uh, send unnecessary data also to the uh, client app. In today's video, we learned how to create a Postgres database using Neon and Hasura and get started with your GraphQL API. But our partnership with Hasura doesn't end here. We're working on making this integration even better. In the meantime, I'd love to hear about your projects and where you'd like us to improve to make your experience even better. I can't wait to see what you guys are building with you. I'll see you guys in the next video.